Hi everyone, it's Nat here. Hope you're all doing well. So I am on with a massive book haul to show you guys. Um, it would have been even bigger, but I've sorted out the ones that are more interesting from the ones that are a bit more rubbishy. So without further ado, I will get started. So I'll start with this little pile I have here first. So these are a mix of ones from the recycling bins and ones that I have purchased. This is a Sierra Club Nature in close-up postcard collection. So I love putting postcards in my journals. And these are nature themed ones, so beautiful close-up photos. I have no idea what that is. Painted turtle. Looks like bubbles to me. So there's a few in there, not a lot. Some have been ripped out and used by the looks. This is Pillows and Prayers, compiled by Kenneth's mother. <laughs> I like that. I like that cover. Um, it was gifted in 65, so it's 1960. And I really like just some of the pictures in this. Some of these little ones are really cool. I might have a read of this too. Farmyard story. Sunshine, so I really like those. Little pictures at the start of each story. I thought that was quite cute. The owl's advice. This is AIDS to Psychiatric Nursing, a complete textbook for the nurse. Balier. Really like this cover, so I'll probably reuse that. 1957, this one. So I think it's just text. Yeah. Hysteria. It's got some underlining there. This is very old by the looks. It's a life of Charlotte Bronte. Very, very old and damaged. So I'm not sure what I'll do with it. One shilling monthly with two illustrations. Price, half a, half a something. I have to look this one up because I can't find the date on it as it's missing a few pages. The page is pretty cool though. They're aged in that, so they'll probably be nice to use. And they're typed because it comes out on the back slightly embossed sort of feeling. Very old. Probably be an interesting read too. I think that's a bug leg. <laughs> Just displays of that. <laughs> you never know what you're going to find. This is Australian coins and banknotes. I thought this is interesting with the pictures. Make some ephemera with those bits and pieces. Program in New Mathematics, Grade 2. Now these pages are a bit weird. Oh yeah, they fold out. And I thought these would be really cool, interesting pages to put into journals as fold out pages and then there's no area to write on. So something a little different. Golden Guide to Trees. Lovely pictures of trees. Surely this has a date somewhere. Maybe not. Oh, fair enough. Oh yeah, 52. Love this. I've had it. I've had this book before, but I think it was an older version even. Hence cool pictures. So that's nice. This is the Audubon Society Field Guide to North American Mammals. I love, love the way this is. It's just a little cover that slips over there. Not sure about a date on this one either. And bats. I didn't seem to have a lot 
in it. It's got little pictures and information on the animals. Little maps and stuff. Text descriptions. And then we've got these glossy pictures. So I'll go through and see what I want to harvest out of those. And beautiful foxes. Sorry if you're getting the glare. I certainly am. Oh, that's what I wanted, some squirrels. And the bats, they look really cool. A bit ugly, but cool otherwise. And they're cute, chipmunks. So a few nice ones in there. Now, we can end up with a massive pile of books here the way I'm going. Next pile, I'll do these. I'll just try not to move my camera stand too much. start with this one is Princess Elizabeth so I'll just have a look at the cover on that that's quite nice nineteen fifty but it's got some lovely photos so I'm not really a royal watcher but I have collected a few bits and pieces it's hard to pass up when they're Nice photos. I'm sure someone would like some of them sometime. And then there's been, oh, this is the model aeroplane news. So I'll show you that one first. That's February 1959 for 35 cents. And I just love the adverts and that and this. And the color of the pages. How cool. Look at that, that's amazing. I saw all these model whatever books and thought, nah, not really my thing. But when I had a look at the diagrams in them, there were stacks and stacks, like this whole stack of these model engineer, there's larger ones and smaller ones. They are 83, yes, around the 80s these are. And these are quite similar in the fact they've got a lot of ads. But they also have these beautiful diagrams. So I really like the diagrams. And occasionally they have the vintage pictures as well, which are really cool. So it's stacks and stacks of them. So I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do with those. There was this the Golden Treasury of Poetry. I love this. Love that cover. I'll probably reuse that. Beautiful start page. Not sure. Yes, I am 61, that one. But just love the illustrations on this. They look drawn and watercolored or something in these ones as well. I'll be reading the um, poems and picking out ones that I like and illustrations that I like. Nice map pages as well. Peacock, that's nice. And this is Virtue's Household Physician. Some embossing there. It's quite old, this one as well. I have to look this one up, I think. So, it's a diet and domestic management of the sick room by a careful and detailed study of which an intelligent person can discharge the full duties of an experienced nurse. So I just love the pages in this. Nice and aged. I love the red on the outside. Great diagrams by the looks. Jiu-jitsu. Bandages. So I think that's really cool. For a nursing journal or something. Lemons. I'll have to have a look at that. Got herbs, 
really cool. Tomatoes. So that's a really cool book, that one. And let's see what this little piece was. Something about a biliousness migraine. Mun Municipal Tramways Trust Adelaide. Timetables, tram timetables. That's a really cool piece of ephemera. Minden Park, Beaumont, Beaumont City, Burnside, King William Street. So it's Adelaide. So I'll be keeping that little piece. Now, while we're at it with ephemera and stuff, I have got a pile of rubbish. <laughs> so I'll add that to the pile. So that come off of a wildflowers book. I like the wildflowers and I like how grungy it is. So I'm keeping that. Some of the start pages out of interesting books. I like keeping these, as you know, to back tags and stuff. Sometimes I like the words on them. I like it when there's writing at the start of a book. What is this? It is Jehovah Jira, the Lord will provide or see something i like this text actually so i might just cut that out and use it something about genesis or something I like the scroll on that um bookmark oh that's awesome i didn't see that it had a ballet dancer so i'll just chop off the top where it's a bit ruined and put that in a ballet journal and put some writing space in the back wonders of the hebrew alphabet that's where the um Genesis and that come from, I think. And then it's got the Greek alphabet there. So I can use that as a fold out somewhere. And I like the cover because it's nice color and board. And it's got these little flip out bits. There was a paper bag that looked clean enough for me to reuse for a journal cover or something. Start pages. This is a Nurse Janet Rice, it says. So one of the books that I had must have been for Nurse Janet Rice. So that can go in a nurse journal. Another bookmark that I can cover. I took heaps of the dust covers off of the books that I didn't want to keep. I know, something about them I just like. <laughs> I'll have to do something with them one day. Oh, another bookmark from John Martins. That's cool. I might leave that as it is and then just cover the back because that's a bit of, you know, history. Yeah, this is a piece of paper that someone's written on. Modus Dawn Hines, Arnott's, Lingus Codeine. Looks like a shopping list. Dry Glow, Bushels Coffee, Vintage Paper. Library card. Some typed something. The, endo the endocrine system. It's about hormones and my thyroid and pituitary glands. I've got a nursing journal. Delicious cakes bookmark. I'll leave that as it is to cover the back. This is something about plants. Hints of growing cymbidian orchids. Nice. These came out of a design book I think that I didn't want but I thought these were really cool they don't really say anything <laughs> but the just the letters and that but I think they're really cool I think they'd go nice on tags or something another I assume that's a bookmark I miss you my friend it's beautiful though that 1997, it was gifted to someone. Christmas card to someone in 2013. And that's the envelope, which I thought was really nice. Bookmark that I'll co cover the whole lot of. Presentation certificate thing that they put on their books. More pages from the start. picture of an eagle or something whistling eagle start pages again a bit of 
bright on that one. Nice horse on that one. So these are my dust covers, silver unicorn. I like the ships on that one. Girls' Adventure Stories of Long Ago. Madame de Pompadour. Forgotten as a Dream. So that'll be a bit of fun to play with. All right, let's pile. Let's start with some of the big ones. The chicken that could swim. I just love the illustrations in this one. It's a 1988 book, but really sweet illustrations. And the colours are lovely. And it's got little duckies. The chook pictures are nice too. Now this is a recipe keeper. What's cooking? And I saw this just sitting there. It probably would have ended up getting thrown out. But um, I just offered to pay two bucks for it because it's in really good condition. Needs a bit of a wash. And I think these work good. Yeah, perfect. This would be awesome to make a little retro recipe journal with, I reckon. So that is the plan for that. Now, a bit more ephemera. This was in the rubbish bin, so I nabbed it. People are going to leave their photos hanging around in books. That's what's going to happen with them. Um, a postcard. Some decoupage pictures, they look like. They were in the bin as well, <laughs> so I raided the bin. <laughs> and a couple more postcards, which I love the pictures on those. Now some little golden books, the new puppy. This is 69, just love it, too cute. Birds. 1980. But you know, I love birds, so that'll go with some of our other bird pictures. Where is the bear? I've been collecting a few bear pictures. I don't really like bears that much, but when I saw this, I thought, well, that's a reason to keep. I hate throwing any of the pictures out, and I've been raiding heaps of encyclopedias lately, and grabbing all the pictures out of them and um, yeah, I thought I could keep some of the bear ones and make something with them for this. But there's not many pictures of a bear in there. Pussy Willow, I just love the look of the cover of this one. 74. That's really cool. Now this book, my other work mate got him well trained now because he bought this one in because he thought I'd be might be interested in it and I definitely was gifted in 58 it is picture goer film annual of 1957 to 58 love the color Audrey Hepburn <laughs> the Oscars were way different back then. <laughs> Leading ladies. So a lot of cool pictures in that one. To journal with the Orient glue book or do um, mixed media. This is orchids for everyone. It's a bit dirty. I think it's had some water damage. Mm, 1980. Some gorgeous pictures. 
I have one orchid here which my mum gave me, which has flowered the last two years, which has been really exciting. It's funny how excited you get when these things happen. Might get a few more. Got a nice spot out in my carport where um, these things like seem to like to grow. This is Gelatine Home Cooking Secrets. Now, it had all this stuff in there. So, more ephemera. Carnation Fresh Ideas. Cookbooks. Looks like that came out of a magazine. Gelatine Mold Offer. Gelatine Molds. And more molds. Oh, dissolving Gelatine Instructions. 79. So some retro pictures. This is how well do you know yourself? It looked like it come from a flow. It's a flow mini course. But I just like the it's matte paper. So I'll be able to use this paper and some of it's coloured. It has journal pages. I think that's really cool. Some nice paper. A little book on fans. Some pretty pictures. Looks like it might be missing a few pages. Oh, there's something different there. Patterns for patchwork quilts. Some seems quite old, let's guess, late 60s. Am I anywhere near right? No. 1979 and 1982. Looks older than what it is. But I just like the patterns in there for some reason. I don't like quilting in this style, but, well, I don't quilt. But I don't like the style of patchwork or quilting. But I'd probably do it with paper. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? The Bell Epoch, Epoch, Epoch of the Orient Express. I don't know what that word is. Just pictures in this. Some of them are cool. I like the nice old vintage ones. That's a gorgeous picture, that one. There were a couple of how and why books. So I grabbed this one for the insects. Nineteen sixty. I love the pictures in these, especially the colour ones. And then beginning science. So that would be around the same era. Tall ships a sailing celebration. Seventy-seven. So I think it was the start of this that I liked because it has these cream-coloured pages and these um, illustrations. And then it gets into like the glossier pictures, which I'm not such a fan of. big as well. And I've got this atlas.
Atlas, which I absolutely love. Try not to get too many more Atlases because they take up a lot of room, but when it comes to the real old ones, I have no control. Nice matte pages. Copyright is 61. So it's got pictures in it. It's got heaps of pictures. That's a great map. So it's lots of information, pictures. The index is cool as well. And then these are the maps, aren't they cool? The colours are great. Then again, more pictures and information. That's a great atlas, that one. Now I'll start on this next big pile. Stained glass patterns. Again, I don't do stained glass, but these give me ideas. Not sure how old it is. It looks like it'd be 70s or 80s or something. Some cool patterns in there, though. This is Junior Word Book. 1971, and I love these pages. I'm not kicking. There's some writing spots. That'd almost be pretty cool to have back tags with or something, but could just put them in a journal as they are, or fold them up, put them in a pocket or something. This is Anatomy and Physiology Lectures for Student Nurses. November 64. Skin, large intestine. Again, nice filler pages for nursing journal or something. This is a Home Beautiful magazine that hasn't even been opened, and it has these string for topping tags and these beautiful tags. So be able to use them. And I'll check out the magazine. I have a girl new book of world ballet. Back cool pictures. 63. So that's nice pictures in there. This is a classic case of nostalgia. So this is a decoupage book when I'm wondering if the pictures I showed beforehand fell out of this. 90, 1995, yeah, because see, we've got these ones in here and they've got the same sort of sheen on them. Isn't that just gorgeous? That's going to be a cover or something, I think. Same with that one. And then it just gives you instructions. Oh, there's a few few cutouts. Oh, they're lovely. So that's really cool. The herb book, I think I've already got one of these. Now it has a lot of recipes in the back, which I'm not really fond of. So it's more to the front that I like this one. And that is because it has all this sort of stuff and your actual illustrations of your herbs, which I think would be great in a herb journal. This is Classical Composers Gramophone Guide to. Seventy-eight. So some nice advertisements. Vintage pictures. Got some nice stuff in it.
book on guns, which I'm not really fond of these days, but sometimes the pictures can be pretty cool in these. I did learn to shoot when I was young. I used to go spotlighting with my dad and my brothers. 1972, just hunting foxes and rabbits off of a friend's farm. I did uh, learn a lot of respect for firearms, but I don't really like, you know, I just don't like violence, I suppose. Yeah, there's a few cool pictures in here of the actual guns. Some of them are like works of art and that. Flow Art Portfolio Book of 95. Beautiful pictures. Love these little ones too to make nice little journaling cards or large stamps or something with those. Now I've got, I think, four of these. They're the World of the Children. Now I really love these covers. They're not in, the book itself's not in the best condition. It definitely needs reinforcement, but otherwise the covers are in pretty good nick. So I wouldn't mind reusing them for some glue books or something in the future. And they're really beautifully embossed. Nicely aged the pages are. They're 54 reprint. And like they're not the best, but they're nice and matte, so you could do whatever over the top of them. Nice filler pages. Some of their diagrams are interesting. Page, what a thermometer tells us. Definitely love the covers on these. There was this Reader's Digest Do It Yourself manual. Sixty-five. This one. And I Love the colours they use. Nice matte pages. A lot of pages too in this one. They're really into making big books, Reader's Digest. Another ballet book. Discovering Ballet in association with the Royal Ballet. A bit more artistic than the other one. A few nice pictures. This is Queen Mary, a pictorial biography of her. It's a really cool picture that one. As you can see it's not very good condition. It's got some cool photos in it. Now there are a couple of these. Bibbery, a Cotswold village. I have nice little sketches in that in them and photos sometimes. I like that one for a little postcard. Yorktown Historic Site. This is tiny. Oh, it's a fold out. Didn't even realise again, little postcard. Pictures. I'll do that writing as well. Around the Cotswolds. These make nice, more, more modern postcards, that sort of thing. Now, these, I think these are more of your uh, model railway. Yeah. 
books. <laughs> Not very good condition again, but I won't mind chopping it up. This, this one's been chopped up already. This one's a bit newer. But it's got some cool pictures of your trains. got weapons and warfare another thing I don't really like much but does have a few good pictures so I like when you get the um, diagrams and some of the pictures of the planes are nice as well that one Best world, best word book ever by Richard Scarry. Now Richard Scarry um, illustrates some of your little golden books, and he does really cute illustrations. And I love this because it's just a whole lot of little pictures. Um, this one is seventy six by the looks. I thought these would be really cool to make tags and that for our little golden book journals. Autumn. Hmm. Might be able to use those pages. Might actually take them out right now and put them up with my seasonal collage journal stuff just in case I want to use any of the pieces. Look at that. Really cool little pictures. ones are really nice okay just not one more pile guys I'm getting there <laughs> evergreen I know when I started at the bookshop I've got like a whole pile of these and I really love I'm still finding bits and pieces I can use because they have these borders in them they have some nice pictures poetry there's just lots and lots of stuff in these. And at the end, I'll have uh, something like that that you can cut out and use as a pocket. Or a flip or something, a little poem on it. Definitely worth looking through. And they usually have a nice picture in the middle as well. Oh, butterfly's nice. And I even like the little titles they do. Two arms for the queen. I like the dust cover on that. And I like the cover. It looks in really good nick. And it's got a little Scottish terrier or something on it. Embossed. Oh, did this have pictures through it? Yeah, it has a few pictures through it. So I'll check them out. I like the illuminated letter or whatever it is. Now this one I quite like the cover too. The singing tree. I really like how it looks like it's a cross stitch pattern or something. It's got a nice picture as well. This is 1960. And yeah, I really like the style of the illustrations in this. I find them quite different. Beautiful. The Osborne First Book of Knowledge. This is so cool, this one. Full of things to use. 1995. Oh, look at that. It's, so, you know, you get such good surprises sometimes when you look inside the kids' books. That 
is just gorgeous. These travel things, Stratford upon Avon, Avon. So that's our road map. Staffordshire Town Centre maps. I kind of liked the um, colouring of that. Might make some tags or something out of them. Gloucester, if that's how you say it. Gloucestershire. <laughs> something like that mother mothers I like roses each one is beautiful and perfect in her own way this is quite a new one by the looks that's got some nice pictures in it love sunflowers This is North American Indian art. This is quite fascinating. I love the size of it, just the little illustrations. So how old is that one? I don't know if it says. Oh, 83. Budgery Gar Handbook. Yes, I'm a sucker for budgies. Cute little things they are. 78. It's got a few nice pictures in it, this one. <laughs> this is Oogst de... Tishden. I have no idea what it is. Love the cover. I don't think it's German, but it's somewhere over that way. It's not Chinese, so I don't know what that's. But yeah, it's that. So I like that the whole book is in this other language. And then I picked out a few which are sort of like my favourite finds for the last few weeks. So it's this one. This is so cute. It's a Spanish, English, English, Spanish dictionary. I love this cover. I will probably use that to make a mini journal sometimes because it's beautiful, you know, thick spine. And then I can use the little pages on the inside, which are really cute. Nineteen forty nine it's got on the preface. So isn't that sweet? Tiny little writing in there. Then there was another tiny little one and it's a Pitman's Pocket Shorthand Dictionary. New Era Edition. Again, nice little mini journal cover. has a date. And these, I spotted these, I got so excited. I think these are German. And they look really nice and old. This cover's in better condition than the other one. I might try and reuse these covers because they are beautiful. Uh, 
Uh, the picture here says 1828. I'd have to look these up, I think. I've got your beautiful, I assume, a German writing. Absolutely love it. And lots and lots of pages in there. So I was so excited to find those and to find two of them as well. This one's got 1779, so I don't think that's the date. I'll have to look these up, but I wouldn't be surprised if they're late 1800s. Yeah, so that's just beautiful. So I'm really excited about them. And then I found this one, even more excited about this one. So it's been wrapped in this plastic, so it's kept the cover in really, really good condition. And this was in there, I don't know why, Ambulance Sisters uniforms, that is so cool too. So I don't know what that come out of. I love these first pages. This one has a date of 1879 on it. So nice and old. It's got a bit of pencil writing in it, but that's all right. And the pages are nice and browned. Looks like it's got some poetry. So that is a beautiful book. So I was really, really excited to find those because I don't have many, if any, with this old German writing in. So, so now I've got a few, which is wonderful. So that is it. Yay, I finally got through them all. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys. It's said I'm not doing my Friday book hauls anymore. It's just easier at the moment to just grab them. And when I've got a whole pile and got the time, I sit down and do a book haul for you. So take care, be good, and I will see you soon. Bye.